the Rainforest Rangers invite you to learn about the Great Green Macaw. Biologically, the Great Green Macaw is used as an indicator species of forest health. This means that where macaws remain, the forest is relatively healthy. For example, the mountain almond tree, which is home for the great greens, would need to be in the area. By protecting habitat for the great green macaw, habitat will also be protected for thousands of other creature species. The population of great green macaws is in great danger of becoming extinct in Costa Rica. Here, it is estimated that less than 200 individuals remain, with less than 30 breeding pairs. The nest robbing of young birds for the pet trade and hunting of the birds for food is still a problem. Macaws are intelligent social birds that often gather in flocks of 10 to 30 individuals. Their loud calls, squawks, and screams echo through the forest canopy. Macaws vocalize to communicate within the flock, mark territory, and identify one another. Some species even mimic human speech. Macaws typically mate for life. They not only breed with, but also share food with their mates and enjoy mutual grooming. In breeding season, mothers incubate the eggs while fathers hunt and bring food back to the nest. Deforestation has had a terrible impact on the great green macaw population. Allow me to introduce you to Petey. Petey is 24 days old and is being raised in a nursery at the Error Project in Costa Rica. Conservation groups such as the Error Project in Costa Rica are reintroducing great green macaws into the wild. Era released 11 greens in 2011, 10 of which survived. There are hopes to release more in the coming years.